welcome back to the Anything Goes with Jackson Neal podcast here on SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, and YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. And for today's episode, I talked with M. Taylor. He's a rapper from Detroit, now based out of Los Angeles. He's signed to Ice T's label, and he's making some really, really good music himself. His latest single, Tap In, featuring AD and Glasses Malone, is a single you gotta listen to. He's a really awesome guy. Glad I had the chance to talk with him. Here's my interview with him. How you doing today? I'm good, man. I actually just flew in to L.A. just a couple of hours ago, back from my hometown, from Detroit. Oh, really? That's sweet, yeah. How's it out there, in, out in L.A. today? Nice, beautiful, and sunny, man. Where you, lo- where you located at? I'm out. I'm right in uh, Philadelphia. It's been a been a gray week all week. It's it's a nice city, just too much rain. Hey, yeah, it was raining all of, all of the time back. I was at home in Detroit, man. All right, got gotcha. you. Can't even for it, man. One day it's 90 degrees, next day it's like 65, you know. Same weather, man. Yeah, same thing in Philly. It's crazy. So, you ready for no. this? You ready to do this interview, man? Let's get it, bro. All right, sweet. So, how did your latest track Tap In come about? Man, um one day I was just sitting at the house and a good friend of mine was like he just gave me a call like, "Hey, man, um this concept just keeps sticking in my head, man." And if anybody I know that's capable of creating some good content around it, it's you. And he hit me up, gave me the concept, and I was like, I'm going to play with it for a minute. Then I get back with you. You know what I'm saying? And I just sat down, start writing, came up with a dope verse, and wanted to get some West Coast celebrities on it. Reached out to my homie AD and Glasses Malone. They reached back to me with their verse, and we got it done. I was yeah, just about to mention that. I mean, a, you got AD and Glasses Malone on there. It's a really awesome track, star-studded, I would say. What was it like to work with them on that? Man, it's dope, man. I actually got a, a couple other records with uh, Glasses Malone in my catalog, too. But, you know, just working with two guys that definitely have a dope name out here on the West Coast. You know, got a lot of traction, getting a lot of love. And to get love and respect from those guys, you know, it's always a blessing. Yeah, all, definitely. And, I mean, I... One thing I saw that you know happened to you recently that get, get, it's given you a lot of traction on the West Coast is if you've been signed to Ice oh, T's yeah. Final Level Music. What's it been like to be signed with like a hip hop legend like that? Man, if honestly, it feel like a cheat code because you know everybody in the game on the West Coast, East Coast, North and South, they all respect them. So when you're with him, you get a lot of love from people who probably wouldn't even take the time out to acknowledge you sometimes. So that's why I feel like it's a cheat code. So blessing. It's like an amazing way to almost open the door for, for other people to hear your music and give you a chance. You feel me? That's what I'm talking about. So, you know, that's why I'm grateful for that. Shout out to my manager, Hans E, for putting it together for me. Exactly. So has Ice-T, ha- what kind of advice has he given you? How much has he helped your career out, almost on a personal level? Just being signed to Ice-T, you know, just soak up as much game as possible. Actions speak louder than words and just always work hard. Wake up every day, go hard, and just get the job done and you'll have a career and before you know it one year turn into 20 years you know and that's what it is and that's all I'm, anyone's trying to do is just to have that sustainability where your career isn't isn't just over in a couple of years we're able to make it something that lasts for a long time definitely long, longevity is the key for sure mm-hmm. so you mentioned you're from detroit how is how has the city of detroit influenced your style um I mean, just staying true to yourself, you know, I mean, we we all come from the streets out there where I grew up at, you know, but we still are introduced to the church, but we're not in the church all day, every day, you know, when we are the church, we still got to play on those blocks and be in those neighborhoods and grow up with those other kids throughout the community, you know, and just stay true to yourself, work hard, because it's it's not easy, you know what I'm saying, and just coming from the bottom, the more work you put in, the more acknowledgement that you'll get and the more money you'll make and the better, more successful you'll become. So definitely, that's how Detroit has influenced my style. Gotcha. It's almost like the balancing of those two things in your life. Definitely, for sure. Um, and now you've really transitioned to be to being based out of the West Coast with, with Ice-T getting all these feature, you know, features from we- great West Coast artists. So now, how has the West Coast kind of also influenced your style you were from originally from detroit now you're being out in california what's that been like uh, to your style man um i really can't even say how the west coast has influenced my style because i just feel like my style is just 
my journey and what I've been through, where I'm going, where I'm headed, you know what I'm saying, things like that. And I just look at every other artist like they're just t telling their stories and sharing their journey and everything like that. So just being on the West Coast, it's definitely giving me a couple more good vibes out here, though, for mm -hmm. sure. The weather's better. It's no real winter time out here. No snow. You know, learn to appreciate certain things that you wouldn't appreciate like that where the weather is fast paced on the Midwest. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would love a I would love a place where there was no snow in the winter. That would be that would certainly be up you my You feel end. me, man? I, I went home last winter, man. It was like below zero. I couldn't take that, man. I had to get up out of there, man. Get back out here on the West Coast where this uh good weather is, man. Yeah, maybe, Even maybe when it's cold, it's not that cold, you know. Yeah, maybe I need to get me some of that. You should, man. Go ahead and get up out here on the West Coast, man. All right. If, <laughs> if I visit. if I do, I'll definitely let you know. How about that? For sure, man. Let me know. For sure. We'll link up. Sweet. So now, now following this this awesome single, what do you have planned next? Well, I got a single getting ready to come out with my partner named Six Easy called Middle Fingers Up. I have uh, another record down the line with uh, Slim 400 and Joe Moses called Chilling with the Rellies, you know. Um, and we got some dope videos getting ready to drop, you know. That's it. We in production mode for sure. Well, I love to hear that. Can't wait for any new music. I love the single tap, and I was really glad it was passed along my way. And you're certainly a really Come awesome on, artist. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Hey, man, thank you for having me, bro. Anytime, man. Definitely right. grateful for the opportunity. Again, a big thank you to M. Dot for coming on to the show. Really, really fun to talk with him. Remember, check out his latest single, Tap In. Follow him on Twitter, Instagram, all that great stuff. Wherever, wherever you're listening on, SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, YouTube, I have all of that information and links down in the description, so check that out wherever you're listening to this podcast. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to the Anything Goes with Jackson Neal podcast on all your favorite podcast platforms. Check out the Jackson Neal Sports and Music Podcasts on the same feed on each platform as well, where I interview sports and music writers on those ones. Check out for more Anything Goes to Jackson Neal podcasts, including some video ones. So stay tuned to the YouTube channel. Have some really, really cool interviews coming up for that as well. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JacksonNeal20. Both of those links are in the description as well, so check that out. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you all next time.